Pigeon 3.0 is now live. Streaming NHL 1-9, franchise Moncton Whalers vs. Toronto Marlies 2-0-2-8-2-9 regular season. Hello everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro is coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. We get to see a team that's on a good roll right now. And inside that locker room, a good roll translates how? You continue to do the same things that you've done to give yourself an opportunity, Doc. You drive to the rink the same way. You get dressed the same way. You go out onto the ice the same way. You don't want to change anything when you're in the middle of a winning streak. Moncton's looking to continue this winning streak without trying to change a whole heck of a lot. I expect them to play the same way they've done in the last couple of games. And if they do that, this winning streak will continue. Let's look at the starting netminders. This will be his first start of the season. And, of course, getting a chance to start things positively with victory number one. He gets the call to the crease despite losing that last game. Two teams chomping at the bit. Let's get going. Moncton's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. A superb hit. A great He won't avoid something for doing that. We had a sense this was going to happen. So here they go. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammate. Well, I can't say I was exactly ready for this. I was halfway through a drink of water before the gloves go down. And this fight has ended with one last solid punch. Great hands for not only scoring, but also knocking out his opponent. Moncton's got a little bit of swagger going now. Their man's won the fight. The crowd is ecstatic. Okay, they win the draw. Quick wrister. The Marlies arrive at center. In with it now. Laid on to Kajula. Oh, snaps the shot. Good shooting place. Deflected off the blocker. Right on his stick. Can he get it out? Cleared it back out of there. The Marlies have it along the side at mid eyes. It's dumped in. One of the great things about this sport is watching two big guys collide. Great play along the boards. Tries to wear down his man by throwing the body. The Whalers are carrying it in their own zone. Brassard skating to the neutral zone. Skates it into the zone. Hammers one. Looking to Hutton. Moving it to Rodriguez. Right off the left wing, it comes on through right on his stick. Points it. Solid defensive play. Corral. What a heavy hit. Has it back deep. And now it's directed to Jovanovsky. Important interception there. Can start the attack going in the zone. Around through the corner. Using the point. He's got it. Stood his ground and blocked that shot. Seeks the corner. With a pace like this, you know the game will stay open. If there's no whistles, as there hasn't been, the game will open up and there'll be more chances as we go along. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. A terrific block he got right in the way. Crosses that line. Decides to head for the corner. Makes that play deep. 
looking for options in neutral ice. And he dumps it in. The Whalers continue on in their own end. Using the point. Shoots. Point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Has received it in the corner. The Marlies in possession as they travel through center ice. Fires. Outstanding work with the glove. Over three minutes still to be skated. We are deadlocked at zero. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Moncton's finding its way to center ice. That was a big hit. One way to wear down your opponent, play physical. That's exactly what happened there. And a long-awaited whistle. Now they can help him. Oh, that is a solid check. As soon as he moves into position to deliver it, he lays the hit on hard. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. The Whalers are driving it from the wing. Gives it to the point. What a tremendous hit. That's what we call Doc using the old knock. Last minute of play. Inside the final minute of play. Shoots one. Lightning-like save with a glove. Pitching it to the Rose. The Whalers up the wing, lock the puck. A howitzer. Terrific save. First period is in the books. Perfection on the part of defense and goaltending. Challenges ahead for the offense when we get to the second. Now's your chance to play free. Join us in our arena as the first sports and entertainment facility in the Moncton's still in this thanks to their goaltender and saves like this one. More in a moment. products in the play clean recycling bins located throughout the arena. Thank you for joining us in a campaign to save energy and keep our city clean. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? 
So we head to the second dock with no score. I would imagine both coaches would like to see more shots, more... more traffic and when you do that you create second and third chance opportunities making life difficult for the goaltenders lifts the stick and steals the puck on to Kajula save there gives it over to the point smart recovery by Schultz propelled to Brassard leads that charge into the zone terrific love save we go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Just spoke to a representative from the road team. They're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injured player won't come back. Hammers one. Toronto's along the wing at center ice. In front. Tremendous hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Takes that pass from the other point man. Slid to Likens. The Whalers are skating it up at neutral ice. Good place to shoot from. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Puck dropped in the log jam and the winger reached in and got it. Point to point to point. Perfect connection right through center. Buck loose now picked up. It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty. And the arm of the referee is up. Twist one. Good save there. Toronto's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Moncton special teams practice is focused on the power play. Let's see if it pays off. First opportunity on the power play comes in a scoreless game. See if they can jump on the board. Over seven minutes played here in period two. Both teams have tried hard, but only the goalies have been successful. Nothing, nothing. Tipped. Solid work there by Dorsey. Feeds the point. Let's go, Arister. Open ice hitting is not dead. Right over top of him in the middle of the ice. That is a great hit. The Whalers look to make a difference up the wing. Shoots and a save. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Possession established. Good reach there. Hammered to Abney. Fires. Save. Toronto's gotten it back out. They check the clock. Get ready to defend. Moncton's controlling play now in the defensive zone. Gains that offensive line. And that one's sent back out. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Shoots! Great save at the edge of the crease. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. And they've got it again. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. To Dorsey. Long way to go, and not much time to do it. He's got that pass at the point. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. He cleared that puck out of there. The Marlies have killed it off, so we're back at full strength. The Whalers with control at center ice. Let's a shot fly. Say, he scores! We've got a score in the game other than 0-0 zero, zero now.
Always better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. The Whalers are ahead by one. It's no surprise they've been pounding away with the shots. We have a winner. Score by number 84. Assisted by number Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Shoots one. Perfect tip by the stick. Right to the point. Hatchets one. Just couldn't find the target. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. Outstanding body contact. That's all we've seen. Big hits by both teams in this period. Gathered up again by Hutton. Oh, what a hit that one was. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. Puck out of the zone. And so they'll regroup. Toronto's winging it at neutral ice. Has that one measured in his own end. Is able to move on in. Wonderful save. Has that point pass as well. Save! Well, there's a little bit of a luck involved there. The goalie was screened on the play. He couldn't see it, but he stopped it. Things are heating up with that hit. The long game is to lay the body on as much as possible, but in one period, you're trying to set the stones forward as you try to push the other team backwards. Placed into the corner by Versailles. With a blast! Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. It's dumped in. A little roaming to play the puck. Passing one off now to LaRose. Strong play there. Shoots one. An enormous hit. The, 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 the drama the heightens in the... He's got this one. He's got to hurry. Trying for it. Score! Ooh. He's got his second. And they jumped up in a hurry on the bench beside me, guys. That last-minute goal is one that'll pump adrenaline through them. Moncton's built a two-to-nothing lead, and the sky's the limit the way they've been playing. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. A shot. Save! Huge hit. Shuts that offense right off. Two periods are in the books. We've had a lot of scoring in this, but there is one dominant team. Second period in the books. For one team, same as the first. Empty. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Marlies are lucky to still be in this game. They've been outplayed in a lot of areas, especially with the time of possession. But one lucky shift or one lucky bounce, they're right back in it. On the outside, a shot. Puck grab. They've got it ready. Let's it go. Great save. And quickly to Brassard. Big shot. He scores! Three straight goals. Most players never get the opportunity to do this. A goal, an assist, a fight, all in the same game. A Gordie Howe hat trick. Moncton's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Pop drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. That one is pointed to him. And by Gets that one on a cross. Gathered up again by Schultz. Heaves one. Great opportunity denied. 
Moncton's built a lead on the fact that they've dominated puck possession. Their goaltender has had a very easy night in there. Hasn't had a lot of shots, but he stopped what he's had to. Just over three minutes have gone by in the third. They've scored again. Depending on which book you read, three may be the most dangerous hockey lead. We'll find out. Dorsett's got that puck again. He's got two already. Cut that pass in his own end. Oh, he's got this one, but can they catch up to him? Enormous save on a breakaway kingpin. Moncton's been humming along offensively. Well, it's no wonder. Their player's been on such a significant point streak. Every game, it seems, he finds a way to create offense, whether he finishes the play himself or sets somebody else up. Dorsett's won again, and so is his team. Everything's good there. Oh, my, what a hit. That's a solid hit. Nowhere to lean against the boards there. Fires. That puck was obstructed by a screen. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. Oh, the goaltender read this really well. He's down in the butterfly, and he's going to stop this all day. The Marlies win the draw. Cranks a blast! Wonderful stop! Marlies win that faceoff. Up to the point. Banked right ahead. Back and forth they go between the points. Collected by LaRose. Moncton setting up an offense from the wing. Battle for possession. A kick pass out of that. Toronto's lugging it along in their own end. Driving in from no man's land. Just a backhand. Did what he's paid to do. To Dorset. Pass attempt to Brassard. <laughs> Terrific determination by Hutton. Chip to Schultz. Wonderful save with the glove. The equipment guys and the dressing room personnel are important. They've gathered up the towels and picked up the tape from the last opponent, and now they'll get ready to take care of things after this new opponent has finished up for the evening. The home fans hope that they'll have frowns on their faces by the time they pull out, because this is a long home stand. Back to the point. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Back in his defensive end to get it. A big, big hit. Oh, that is a great hit. I love it. Got iron with the shot. Save. It is a hooking call on this play. A restraining foul, and the arm of the referee is up. The Marlies are given a hooking minor. Oh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Moncton's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, their power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. Toronto's in the neutral zone along the way. And he dumps it in. To Dorset. Dorset's two tallies have been more than enough. They got a huge lead in this game. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Toronto's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. One of the biggest mistakes a five-on-three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around, and you start to tire them out. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. 
Sends to the point. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Great save. Flings it. Great stick there. Save there. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Good face-off victory there. Oh, a close call there. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. They must retreat and start back again. Moncton's along the wing at center ice. Moved along and in. Good, solid poke check there. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. A little over five minutes remaining here in the third. The scoring of the goal has made this now a three-goal lead. Will this become dangerous, though? He's got it, but has to get rid of it. Shot it back out of his own end. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Trying to go to the Rose. In the slot. Oh, what a save. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. Another face-off win. I wonder what his percentage is now. It's way up there. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. That was very close, but he missed the opportunity with that shot. Great job by the goalie here. Lots of buzzing in his own, but he gets the stop, and he'll settle things down. Off that face-off from the tie-up, the help came. Great poke check. And it's lifted back out of trouble. Clock bleeding down on the power play. Moncton's trying to bring this shutout right to the very end. Their goaltender has been outstanding tonight, and they're just a few minutes away from completing the deal. He sealed it between his pads. Play halted. The Marlies with a clean win on the draw. Smart recovery by LaRose. And a save. That was one he'll get the number on. His effort is always the same, Doc. Up two goals, down two goals. He just flattens his man in this case. Maybe a little frustration because things have been pretty brutal for them tonight. Let's it go. Wonderful save. It scores. You play over 50 minutes of shutout hockey, you start to think about whether you can blank the other team. But eventually, a mistake is made, and the puck goes in the net. The Marlies have closed the gap to just two. And there is time here in the third period to get another one, or maybe get two and get this game back even. The Whalers skated up on the side. Nicely received at the point. Terrific determination by Broussard. We are in the 60th minute out of 60. Fired that pass on ahead. Got it at the point. Toronto's getting the goalie to the bench. Net empty. Extra man out. Net open. Score! It's a hat trick.
That empty net goal will send the fans to the exits. Sayonara. That pretty well puts this one away. Toronto's won that faceoff and possession established. Scored by number eight. This is a tough one to work for. Time of the goal. Takes it in from the neutral zone. To the point it comes. Oh, and he is drilled. There's a phrase in hockey, hit or be hit. That's exactly what happened. He scores. You get one, they get one. They keep trading goals. What a night. Goaltender was surprised at how quick that snapshot got on top of him. Goalies want to shut down the bottom of the net and dare you to beat them up top. He doesn't cover this one and it gets them down low. The Marlies have gotten this game back to a two-goal deficit for them. There's still time here in the third. Let's see what happens next. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Carries it on in from center. Laid on to Rodriguez. Toronto's pulling their goalie for the extra man. Off that right side, he's got a perfect pass. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. Off to a terrific start. First game, first win. This was his first game at this level, so you know the adrenaline and raw emotion played a factor. But that's not to take anything away from this moment. So ends another game and another telecast. We hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.